I'm going to talk about the noise on the Hypervibe. So I've had this for about a year, so I'm going to do my annual year review on the noise. Now, I haven't, obviously this is a residential, so it's not a commercial, so I haven't had to do any work on it, but over like 25 to 28 hertz, everything gets really noisy. And this, this one, the Hypervibe goes to 28 hertz, and this is a light machine. It's only 110 pounds, so... You know, for, for this small machine at 28 hertz, this is actually not a noisy machine. When it, normally it would be very noisy if something with this type of power, but I don't know what they did, but I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna show you under here, here's these flaps right here. So if you look closely, this extra flap right here, like you could actually bend this back and look. And there, for, for the Hypervibe, they actually these put these bolts here, and they bolted it down, but there's still like a little bit left. And this is, in a commercial setting, you know, the bumps get worn out after three years, and then it might get a little slippery, but in a residential, that's, you know, that doesn't matter. But, but these flaps get a little, you know, fl uh, uh, flappage. The extra, is that a word, flappage? The, is that a word, the flappage? But they get, so you could just put like a little glue. See, it's like almost, you can see the glue. It's like, you could just put a little crazy glue if it comes up a little bit. So you can, and you can actually, for the Hypervibe, you can actually take off the logo. You see that? You can actually take off the logo. And if you take off this motor, I mean, if you take off this plate, you can actually see the motor. You can actually see the motor. And it is 900 watts. And it is 100, I mean, it's 1.25 one and a quarter horsepower. We won't take off the plate. But like if you look over here, you look over here at this one over here, this is a, it doesn't have anything to flap. So this, this one's very quiet, this particular um, type of plate. This one just has this extra rubber. It absorbs right here some of the friction. But it does get, you know, a little loose after years and you can just put a little glue. But it doesn't come off. I mean, it's bolted together. But I guess my point was like it, for this machine being 110 pounds, um, a small, smaller plate, it's uh, 22 inches across. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, 24 inches across for this plate. It's just deceiving. It's like an illusion because there's a lot of skirt right here. But at this particular plate is very, very powerful. And it's actually... You know, it should be at this this uh, small of a plate at 110 pounds. I don't know what they did, but it should be shaking the whole floor. It should be taken, shaking the whole floor. But this one, I don't know what they did. I don't know what they did. Um, like a 22 inch plate at 110 pounds with this 900 watt motor. I don't know what they did, but it is actually a very sturdy, um, sturdy, powerful but sturdy machine. So. Um, get on it and put it at a higher hertz and I'll show you. Now this is actually all the way at 28. So my voice is vibrating but you can see it's very sturdy. It doesn't shake the ground. doesn't shake the floor of the ground. It's a very sturdy plate. You, you almost have to like bend your knees. 